Hi friends this is Shivani here welcome to my channel Shivani Creations today i am showing you how to make this beautiful brother and sister using paper quilling strip for upcoming Raksha Bandhan festival this is the indian festival in which sister ties rakhi to his brother for his long life and safety isn't it looking super cute so let's start with the procedure for this we need some 3 mm quilling strips scissor quilling tool pencil black color pen some stones to decorate stone chain ball chain liquid glue quilling mold some 5 mm strips mount board or cardboard and pattern paper first i am starting with the face for this i am taking 5 strips of peach color here i am using 3 mm strip and making one tight coil like this in the same way I have created one more tight coil using five strips of brown color now I am taking my quilling mold and shaping a dome for both the coils add glue inside the coil and spread it using brush Now I am connecting these coils with each other and face is ready. Allow it to dry for some time. Now here I am taking half strip of peach color and I have just cut my 3mm strip from the center to make a thin strip. I am just rolling it and making a small ring for neck. like this now I have already prepared these two green tight coils this tight coil is made using 5 mm strip and this coil is made using 3 mm strips for this I have joined 8 strips of 5 mm and for this I have joined 8 strips of 3 mm now I am just shaping both the domes this 5 mm coil dome I needed little deeper so I am using my finger and uh, the 3mm tight coil dome I needed little shorter so I am using my quilling mold now just add glue inside both the domes and connect with each other so that will be the body of boy like this now I will show you how to create hands for this I have already prepared this tight coil using one and half strip of 5 mm green color and I'm just opening it using my pencil and making a cone we need to create a bended cone while making the cone you have to be very careful because if you do not do it gently you can spoil your shape I have just twisted it little bit and the height of both the hands should be same so I'm just measuring the height so hand is ready add glue inside this and spread it using brush I add glue inside each 3d shapes to make it sturdy now this shape is made using one and half strip of 3mm peach color I have just created a dome and pinched it to create a tight teardrop dome so I am connecting the palm with the hand so this is done now I am starting with the leg for this I have prepared these two tight coils this tight coil is made using two and half strip of 3 mm and this tight coil is made using two and half strip of 5 mm and here I have used orange color 
Now I'm just opening this 5 mm tight coil and making a cone again like we created for the hand. and then using the other tight coil i am making a small dome using my quilling mold add to inside both the domes and connect with each other Now here I have created this ring using 1/4 strip of 5 mm orange just like we created for the neck and now I'm starting with the leg for this I'm taking 1 and 1/2 strip of 3 mm peach color and making one tear drop dome shape Now I will join the ring with foot and then after drawing i will connect this foot with leg so legs are ready now the body dome is also dried so i will connect body neck face and hands Hold it like this for some time. Now I am taking this nine by six centimeter cardboard piece, and I am wrapping it using red color paper. Here I am making the stool on which the boy will sit. This is also known as pata in Hindi or pat. Now I'm adding one more red piece on top of this. Now I have created these four domes using two strips of yellow color. Now I'm adding these domes in all four corners. So it will like a stand. in the base for pata so pata is ready now take back the boy and i will connect this on the pata along with legs like this so it's dried and it will look like this now i have created this dupatta using green and orange color strip and i am just wrapping the dupatta around the neck of the boy
so it should look like this now i'm starting with the girl for this i have already prepared these shapes the face is exactly same as we created for the boy using five peach strip and five brown strips now this dome is made using seven strips of 3 mm and i have just made this dome using my quilling mold then this deeper dome is made using seven strip of red color 3 mm and this is kind of a pot shape little deeper then this cone is made using 12 strips of 5 mm blue color and i have not fixed it using glue yet the height of this cone is approx 5 cm and we need to twist this cone little bit because i wanted to keep the girl little bend it towards the boy because she is tying the rakhi that's why i am bending this cone little bit now i will secure it using glue then i have already prepared the neck as we created for the boy and now i'm joining all the parts together so it will look like this i have added two red semi circles in the front to give it a blouse look now i am wrapping one dupatta like i have created for boy using blue and golden color i have just cut some fringes in the end of this dupatta so i'm just connecting the dupatta with the shoulder like this keep it aside now i have prepared this hand using one and half strip of peach color 5 mm this is a cone and the palm is made using one and half strip of peach color 3 mm and i have just added one ring using blue color strip and this dome is made using two strips of red color 3 mm i have just added one golden strip in the edge now i'm connecting the sleeve with the hands in the same way i have created one more hand so i am joining both the hands with the girl now i will add features to boy For this, I am taking one fourth strip of peach color. Again, I am taking thin strip, like we took for neck. I am creating one small teardrop shape for ears. So I have already added one ear, and now I am adding other ear. I have added some small hairs using brown thin strip in the front. Now again for the nose I am taking one foot strip of thin strip and making a bended teardrop for the nose.
like this now take back the girl i have added features just like the, the boy and now this dome is made using two strips of brown color this is a juda so i'm just connecting the juda on the back side and then for the braid i am taking one strip of brown color 3 mm and making one leaf shape in the same way i have prepared some leaf shapes so i'm just attaching the braid with the juda at the end i am adding this bunch of strips on which i have added yellow color ring now i am adding eyes and mouth using some paper pieces i have added one golden color ball chain as a necklace on the boy's neck then i'm making eyebrows using my black pen here i have created this cap or hat using white color leaf shape and added one white strip around this and decorated it using purple ball chain this kind of hat we wear in india on festive occasions isn't it looking cute now i'm decorating the four corners of stool using some stones Now take back the girl. I have added some ornaments using ball chains, stone chains, and some small stones. So it's all up to you how you want to decorate. So it should stand like this in front of each other. Now I'm taking this 13 by 13 centimeter mount board piece and wrapping it using yellow color paper and attaching one pattern paper on this.
so this is the base of our model and now i am adding first the girl and then the boy here i have created some small gifts by just wrapping small shapes and this cute puja thali for little extra decoration so i'm just connecting the puja thali and gifts on each side also added this rakhi on boy's hand which i have created using blue color circle paper i have just added blue ball chain and one stone in the center so the beautiful and very cute sister and brother 3d quilling model is ready i'm sure you will try it soon so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye